Hey guys, so today Apple released a new update to iOS 17. iOS 17.0.1 has just been released by Apple and this is quite interesting because we just saw iOS 17, the official release, a few days back, about three days ago, and Apple has now pushed out another small update but very important in terms of security. And I want to talk about everything you need to know because it is important for you to update to iOS 17.0.1 and iPhone 15 actually also got an update, iOS 17.0.2. So tomorrow, as the iPhone 15 launches, there's going to be a new software update available. Now, for those devices not supporting iOS 17, Apple has also released a new update for you guys. If we go into general and software update, Apple has also released iOS 16.7 for the iPhone, iPadOS 16.7, and watchOS 9.6.3. Now, Apple is looking to patch three security flaws within iOS 17 with this one, and Apple also updated the Apple Watch, so Watch OS 10.0.1 is now available for the Apple Watch. Now, there wasn't any beta testing. This is an official software release for everyone to update right now. Now, if you go into settings here, if you go into general and go into software updates, this should populate for you. You should update to iOS 17.0.1. If you're running iOS 17 betas or if you're still on the RC, you can actually go into settings here. You want to go into general, go into software updates, and then you want to select here the beta update options turn this off go back once and then ios 17.0.1 as you can see right there will be available for you to download again i recommend everyone to install this update as it is extremely important to install this and then you can go back to the betas if you wish to do so next week we are expecting ios 17.1 beta 1 so why would apple release an emergency update to ios 17 and ios 16 devices well there's three security issues here as we go into Apple's about security content of iOS 17.0.1 and iPadOS 17.0.1 and all the other software previously mentioned for iOS 16 and the Apple Watch, there's three issues here. We have a kernel issue, we also have an exploit, and we have a WebKit issue, which are all three being addressed here with iOS 17.0.1 and all the software previously mentioned. Of course, you want to make sure you update your iPhone. Again, I recommend even if you're running iOS 17 betas, go ahead and update your device to this software until we see the next beta and then you can go back to installing betas whenever Apple decides to release the next update. But as of right now, I recommend everyone with an iPhone running iOS 17 update to iOS 17.0.1 so that you don't fall victim of any of these security flaws within the operating system and iOS 16 devices. Of course, you want to make sure you update your devices as well. And I just wanted to give you guys this quick update and information in regards to the latest releases for iOS 17 and iOS 16. Thank you for watching. Make sure you update your iPhones once again and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.